the 70s were just fabulous. You know, not only was all the sex. All through the 70s, sex was kind of the gay man's obligation. We thought that sex was good for you, like cow. I got very clearly, I think, that uh, Gaytan liked having encounters that were no responsibility. Gaytan actually told me that. He had a project of having sex with a different man every night. You know, it's very easy to fall into the hedonistic side because it's intoxicating, but there was a price to pay, I think, for that. Um, and then it just got awful. It got worse and worse and worse from that moment on. I wish I'd never heard that term, gay cancer. I was totally paranoid and scared shitless. I was in a state of perpetual paranoia. And so was everybody. Everybody thought, oh my god, I've got it. AIDS didn't just happen, it was allowed to happen. Essentially, Gaetan in Vancouver was the personage, the face of AIDS. And it just seemed so ludicrous. And really, that idea of patient zero as a figure, as a popular term, comes from and the band planned on. And I told him, no, don't do this. This is not a good idea. You shouldn't name patient zero. And I use everybody's name. He's not singled out at all. I think I make it put the disease on much more of a human scale. Really? This, this is all one person's fault? It felt like scapegoating to me. I thought like, oh, who's this poor guy that they're trying to blame this all on? Patient zero. 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 Patient zero.